Hi, everybody. I'm Fred. I'm Mary. And we're, and we're the, the Edel Campers. Campers. Today, we've got a little unboxing of a soft start for our air conditioner so we can run 18 air conditioners on one AA battery. So today, I'm going to be climbing up on the roof and installing a soft start RV, which will help lower our startup capacities that our air conditioner takes. Please watch the video in its entirety, and I will share with you some teachable moments for your children. Hi, everybody. While Mary was off cleaning the roof, I decided to read the instructions. Good idea. Went to the website, as you can see here, and uh, then went to support and then scroll down all the way to the bottom because I have a penguin with heat pumps and that will even work on the soft start so so they gave me this lovely schematic right with step one step two and I think it goes all the way to five so they also gave me a bunch of crimps so what I'm supposed to do is take the red wire just to crimp it onto this little guy Next, we have brown. Okay, so and this is a male. Next one, blue. This is the blue wire. I know, I know you're excited. You, Fred, are you going to do every one of these? Yes, I am. You may never see it. So I'm going to print this out and carry the instructions with me. Since it has six steps. I can do six steps. Okay. Next, we'll meet you up on the roof. Now, before we get on the roof, it's advised that I turn off the circuit breaker, so power dead. Check the old EMS. Yeah, yeah. I hope you've noticed my handy dandy tool belt. There we go. Took out four screws, two in the back two on the front and thank goodness we put the most solar panels we could on this roof Ooh, hold it this isn't what it looks like in the pictures mm -hmm. I'm gonna take this lid off so the soft starts gonna go in here Stick it to the wall when we're done. Installation purposes. Which means it's going to hang out right there. And then we're going to join these wires down in this case to make everything happen. And now we just got to follow it step by step. It's actually pretty simple, but we'll see. So follow the white compressor wire. These, these are the compressor wires. So this is the white one. Step one, follow white compressor wire, run capacitor C terminal. Disconnect and connect to blue soft start wire. So this is the blue one. We're going to route it right here with the rest of them. And she goes. The blue wire connects to the white wire we just disconnected. And then there's a little metal there. gaffer's tape folded over it. Solve that problem. Just in case. Okay. Step one, accomplished. Yay. Two, follow the black soft start wire to terminal white wire was on. Or connect black. So there it is, female connector. Run that in here. Not a lot of room to 
get my fat fingers in there. Took her needle nose, should just do the trick. Okay, step two, accomplished. Step three, we're connecting the yellow soft start wire to a terminal next to the red compressor wire. Herm, H-E-R-M. There we go. All right. Step four. If there is a second red wire next to the red compressor wire, disconnect and tape. Well, there is a second wire. So when Fred's done, we'll discuss how this could become an aha teachable moment. Ooh. If you have um, children that you're homeschooling. Yeah, have your kids do it. They got small feet. <laughs> you wish. Yeah, definitely recommend the needle note. Got a piece of gaffer tape. Basically taped right to itself. Fire. Follow the black compressor wire to K1 relay. This is where the K1 relay would go. And in future models, that's where it is. Because this is the blue wire. And it's going into this umbilical cable and it's feeding down into the mothership itself, down into the control section on the bus. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna cut it. And I think this is too short for what we wanna do. So I'm gonna cut it back in here, right about there. Get my handy dandy cutters. Handy dandy cutters. Cut the wire. Cut the wire. Ugh. Whew, I don't know about you, I'm warm enough. Get our handy dandy stripper. Hands on nicely. So since we've got to plug the wire from the compressor into the brown wire, so it's a male. We need a female. And repeat with said red wire, which is a female. Plug in the red wire. Before we start this up, we need the letter, we need the mount, so I'll start to the side wall. Just make sure it doesn't hit any cables or have any fun things like that. So if we're just going to peel off the VHB tape backing, put the super sticky side down. The cables in there, so I want the cable down. So if water gets in here, it's going to run down and off the cables, not down the cables and inside the unit. All right, just press and hold for about a minute. So, besides the 
BBH tape. We're going to put in a couple screws just to make sure. And that'll help the tape stick a little better too. I think I can get one more in here. Going nowhere. Then we want to route these cables up out of the way so they don't get caught up in the motor or the fan or any of that. Um, so as Fred's finishing up the final touches and putting all the wires <laughs> the hard part back together and getting ready to put the lid back on um, I told you earlier that we would talk a little bit about the teachable moments and if you have children that are really eager to learn what's going on and how things work what's this? exactly <laughs> and they can they I wanna, drink this uh oh yeah, all those good things. But if they really are well, into no, mechanics and uh, tools, a great teachable moment, again, a teachable moment can be uh, when a child's just eager and ready to learn. So if you have a project, something similar to this, and, and you know your child wants um, to learn about how to help. Or maybe likes AC. Or likes AC, <laughs> <laughs> and they want it quicker. Want um, it. You can go over some of the tools that you use uh, and teach them about tools. You can check out, Fred says, I call it a schematic uh, or diagram, and you can help them learn how to read a diagram. It's a or cartoon. A and he calls it cartoon. Why? Because that's how it's supposed to be built. Usually not the case. Uh, you also can go over step-by-step -step, um, routines. Um, this particular... <clears throat> project has five steps you can talk about or six steps actually you can talk six. about how we I only uh, did five. Oh, we're almost finished with six he, he's just teasing you guys sure. <laughs> so you can go over um, step by step uh, processes processing also work on some reading skills on how to read with this and one of my favorite things to do is when you're finished and done is um, to always Write down in a journal, what did you do? What did you learn? Uh, how did uh, you enjoy helping your mom or dad fix something? So um, these are the kind of moments you have to look for. Sometimes we don't think about them, but we have to stop and think if, if um, we have a child that's really interested in something, let's go ahead and use it. Let's work with it, go with it, and pull out all those cool um, teachable skills as we're doing a project. And I think Fred's getting ready to put the case back on. This case. Uh, oh, that case, yeah. The case to cover up all the wires there. So just talking about the teachable moments, um, one of the things to think about in your everyday life is paying attention to those times. Um, because we go through life and we work and we play and there's so many times that if we're paying attention we can find moments in just about it. Uh, any routine and so the biggest part is just paying attention so when you're watching our videos um, we'll try to stick one in there every time see if you can fi uh, figure out what that moment's going to be I've certainly learned a lot hit the circuit breaker turn the main power back on once that's done I will uh, fire up the uh, air conditioner from my handy dandy phone Sounds like a plan. That's pretty cool. So we installed the soft start RV and uh, appeared to be working just fine. But we had an opportunity to really test it at a harvest host where we found uh, they were selling us uh, 15 amps for five bucks. Pretty good deal if you can get it. So let's take a look at that. Look at what we found here. Plug in. Please pay at the motel office. That it's the motel and then there is an office and for a lovely five bucks you get a 15 amp circuit 
your regular home plug. It is grounded. So we have a 15 amp, 30 amp, to 50 amp, and then we have our progressive EMS. Now this doesn't give you any more power. It's still 15 amps. And I think we're pulling, let's see if I can read it. Uh, line two is 120 volts at 14 amps. 60. But the nice thing is, we put the soft start RV on the roof and it's paying off. Because right now, it's hot out here and it's nice and cool in the RV. We only get one air conditioner, but hey, go with it. For five bucks, who can beat that? Well, there you go, folks. Everything installed, everything running great. We're having a good time out here on the road. We hope you are too. Uh, we ask that you leave comments, you know, good, bad, ugly, whatever you want to say, and uh, uh, we'll be sure to respond to them. We also hope that you uh, enjoyed uh, Mary's featurette where, uh, you know, for the teachable moments, and we'll see you on the road. Bye. Bye.